Whoa, these look great. And if you like them too, today is a great day because today's video is all about new morphic icons. Hey everyone, welcome to a new video on our draw studios and let's create. Step one is to create the setting panel. So let's open Photoshop and start creating. Let's start by creating a solid color in the background. I'll be taking gray, but you can take whatever color you want. Hit OK. To create the setting panel, we'll be using the rounded rectangle tool. Just drag to create a rectangle and then select the curvature of it. I'll be going around 150 to 170. Uh, let's fix at 160. That seems fine. Now go to fill and select gradient. Let's select the rotation at 135 degrees. Double click on the left lever to select the dark color. I'll be choosing the same as that of the background and again double click on the right lever to select the highlight color which I'll be selecting a little darker than pure white. Now at this point we are done with the basic panel. Make sure it's aligned to the center and right click on the layer itself and select blending option. Now select inner shadows and we need to select the shadow color which I'll be taking a little darker than the background itself. That seems fine. Hit OK. And now you can simply follow along. Select Inner Glow and make sure the blend mode is selected to normal. Now we need to add some shadow, but if you don't see add shadow option, go to this FX panel which is effects and add drop shadow. Now we are done with adding the dark shadow but we need to add one more shadow that is for the light itself. If we imagine light coming from top left corner then we need to add some light bouncing off the panel that we created. Hit OK and with that we are done with step 1, let's begin with step 2 which is to work on the icon itself. But before that please subscribe to the channel, I am planning to hit 1000 subscribers and I would really appreciate it if you could help me achieve it. Now import an icon, I am using Instagram but you can use whatever you want to. Make sure it is aligned to the center, right click and select blending option. Now you can simply follow along.
Now we are almost done with adding effects on this layer. But we need to add that light bounce of effect on the Instagram icon as well or whatever icon that you are using. Hit OK and now right click on the text where it says FX. Select Create Layers, hit OK. Hold Alt on Windows or Option on Mac and drag the layer. It creates a copy. Go to Filter and select Gaussian Blur. Add some Gaussian Blur to the underlying duplicate layer that we created and clip it. Hold Option on Mac or Alt on Windows and click between these two layers. With that, we are done with step 2. Let's begin with step number 3. Before I merge the layers, I'll be tweaking the toggles a bit more and play with it to find the perfect setting for me. As I always say, designing isn't an end product or problem solved. Designing is a process and we need to try a lot of permutations and combinations, run experiments and play around to complete the process. And the most important thing is to have fun during that. We are almost done with that and now we need to merge the layers. Please follow along and if you have any questions or doubt, feel free to ask them in the comment section. Now simply drag to create a smooth gradient. And just by doing that, it is looking so much better. Now we are definitely done at this point, but I'll be lowering the opacity of the shadow layers to make sure the icon does not get mixed with the underlying shadow. And with that, we are done with this effect. Hope you guys liked it. Please like, comment and share. And thank you so much for watching. Catch you in the next one.